If you want some FIFA 23 coins, please check out MMOXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're fast, cheap, and reliable. And if you use code REMA, you can get yourself a 5% discount. So what's up, guys? My name's Ash, and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, I've got my complete formation and custom tactics video for you guys, where I show the formations that I use in-game. These are the 4-3-3, the 4-2-3-1, the 4 triple two, and the 4 one two one two. as well as showing you, I'm going to be telling you when I use each of the different types of tactics to really help you guys understand how I play. Uh, today we've played 21 games, we won all 10 playoff games uh, and we've won 10 out of 11 foot champs finals games. Obviously you guys know the counter is messed up but 41 points is 10 wins one loss. Uh, I'm not claiming to always be the best at the game, that's not what these videos are about but a lot of people have still found use in my custom tactics and stuff so I'm glad you guys find them useful and I'm glad I'm able to help you guys out. Just before we get into today's video, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up as that does really help me with the YouTube search algorithm. Also subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside guys, let's get right into today's video. So whenever I go into a game of FIFA, I always start out with my defensive tactics. They're not actually defensive, I just put it in that slot, which is the 4-2-3-1. So taking a look at the 4-2-3-1, these are the tactics that I'm currently using for it. So for the defensive style, I'm using balanced as it gives me great control over my defense. I like to manually defend, so it is very helpful for me to have this on balance. For the width, I have this on 40 because people like to attack in a very narrow way. So it's important that we do defend in a narrow weight as well to combat that. It also is good at covering the wings even with 40 width. For depth I'm currently using this on 58 with the 4 2 3 one because it's quite a balanced formation so you don't want to be too aggressive as well as you don't want to be too uh, conservative either so you know having it on 58 gives me a nice balance with the formation. For build up play I'm currently using fast build up. This is really nice for me because I like to play in a narrow way so having this on fast build up allows me to link up the play very quickly with nice little short passes. Uh, I'm currently using direct passing. Uh, I use this on every formation I use just because it's the best. It's the only one which will actually allow you to break through the defensive line a lot of the time. Uh, the width we have on 35 because it's a narrow formation and I like to play very narrow. So uh, yeah, width on 35 allows me to play lots of short passes to players nearby. Players in box, I have this bang in the middle in five. Uh, this is just because I like to get some players into the box but I don't like to overcommit my whole team either so it's just got a nice balance there. And corners and free kicks, we also have this on two so we've got some plays in the box for crosses uh, but we don't overcommit our team so we don't get counter-attacked. But the players I use because it's a one striker formation it's important that I use a well-rounded striker so I'm using Robbie Keane here as he's got a bit of everything from the five star weak foot to the great shooting stats and the dribbling stuff like that so it's nice to have a well-rounded striker. In the two wide positions we have two winger style players so I'm using Di Maria and Chiesa. Uh, Di Maria's got the five star skills they're both very pacey players they've got the dribbling stats you know they're able to cross the ball they're able to shoot they're able to do a bit of everything as they're like the wide playmakers quite important to have good players in that position uh, as the cam I'm using Phil Foden as he's got really nice attacking AI uh, with the high high work rates he's also very agile he's good on the ball he's able to shoot and he's able to pass he's like the perfect cam for me at the moment I will upgrade him during team of the year when I start opening all my save packs and stuff but at the moment he's doing the job just fine uh, Park Ji Sung and Vieira are the two CDMs Vieira is the more stay back CDM and and Park Ji Sung's more of like a box to box player. It really helps on the attack. And then I've got a balance between my two fullbacks with Hernandez and Walker. Hernandez is more attacking, Walker is more defensive. Uh, and then in the defense and goalkeeper, like the center backs and the goalkeeper, we just have them as meta as possible. Uh, and yeah. For the player instructions, on the striker I'm just using stay central as having him on mixed attack has been really beneficial for the fast build up style as he actually gets more involved. Uh, stay central is just so he doesn't go to the wings too much because we don't really want that. On the wide cams we've just got get into the box for cross so they do actually transition into the penalty box otherwise they're a bit too conservative when we are attacking they don't really get involved. So yeah get into the box for both of the wide cams. For the central cam we just have stay forward because he's a high high player so high defensive work rate kind of counteract 
counteracts the stay forward instruction so he sits in a better position. Uh, for the more box to box CDM we just have cover center and we leave everything else alone because he's going to do a bit of everything. The only really important part is that he does cover the central areas. Uh, for the left CDM the more defensive one we have cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover center. Pretty self explanatory this play is just to sit back, be defensive and be annoying to your opponent. Uh, the left back the more attacking one we have balance attack and overlap. This is because we have a lower width in 35 so it's important we do get a bit of extra width otherwise we can struggle uh, and yeah that it works really well for me and then on the more defensive fullback we just have stay back while attacking and overlap again so when we do trigger him to go forward he will overlap instead of underlap when the 4-2-3-1 isn't working but I still want to keep a similar structure with like the four defenders the two CDMs and whatnot we just switch to the 4 triple two where we've got one extra striker and we're sacrificing a cam this is just so we have a bit more of a direct approach uh, for the custom tactics we still keep the defensive style unbalanced as again I like to have more control over my defense I'm not going to explain that again uh, for the width again we have this on 40 because we like to defend narrow as people like to play through the middle so it just works very well depth we actually have higher than the 4-2-3-1 and we have it on 65 just because when I'm trying to be more direct I like to win the ball higher up the pitch so we can catch the opponent out a little bit more it does work quite well build up play again we use fast build up just because we like to link up the play very quickly when we win the ball back and it allows us to create easy chances and it doesn't allow your opponent to drop back as much very quickly chance creation again we're using direct passing as it's the best like there's not much more to say there uh, the width we're using on 35 again because it is a narrow formation so it makes sense we want to play quite narrowly uh, players in box again it's five because we like to cross into the box or we like to get players into the box sorry but we don't want to overcommit the whole team and corners and free kicks again on two for the same reason the way we set this up is in the two striker positions we have Di Maria and Keane Keane's right footed Di Maria's left footed so we have Di Maria on the left for the Travellers and Keane's like double footed he's got the five star weak foot so we have him there we also have a bit of a balance between them where Di Maria is a bit more technical and Robbie Keane's a bit more of a clinical finisher so we have a nice balance there uh, sorry uh, my bad uh, and then in the wide cam positions we have Phil Foden and Chiesa Foden's got the high high work rate so he's very good when we lose the ball stuff like that and they're both very technical players which is important in these areas now again for the two cdms it's pretty much the same one defensive player and one more box to box style player um yeah it just works very well to have that balance in the midfield and then the left back and right back again we have a bit of a balance between them where walk is more defensive and hernandez is more attacking and then the center backs and goalkeepers are obviously the same for the two strikers i just have them both on stay central as i feel like mixed attack gets them more involved with the fast build up setting again we want them to stay central as we need them to be in those areas we don't need them to be on the wing uh, the wide cams we just have get into the box for cross because again we want them to transition into the box otherwise they don't get involved enough uh, the CDM we just have again cover center and we leave everything else alone because he's a box to box style player so we want him to get involved on the attack the more stay back player in C uh, the, the more defensive CDM we have stay back cut passing lanes and cover center again because he's meant to be a defensive player and then at left back again balance attack and overlap to give us extra width and then the right back we have stay back while attacking and overlap uh, because if we trigger him forward we want him to overlap again so yeah that's the four triple two when I'm pushing for a goal and time is running out I'll often use the 4-1-2-1-2 because it's a very aggressive formation and what we use for this is the balanced defensive style again because I still don't really like using pressure tactics uh, the width we have on 40 again because it's a narrow it's a narrow game you know people like to play through the middle and that so it makes sense that we have a lower width depth again we have on 65 as I think a bit higher I'm just throwing the game away because one through ball and you're done so I like to have it on 65 so we can still attack and we're still okay defensively build up play again we have fast build up because when we win the ball back we want to be very quick we want to create those chances because again we're usually using this when we need a goal direct passing again for chance creation as it is the best uh, setting to use width we still use 35 as it is a narrow formation so we do still want to play quite narrow with it and it allows us to link up the play quickly players in box again we have on five corners and free kicks we also have on two the way this sets up is again we have the two strikers where I use 
Di Maria on the left and Keane on the right. It's the same as the 4 triple two. the same reasoning as to why I use them there. At the cam, we just use Chiesa as he's a nice technical player. We use Foden as our left centre mid because he's got the high, high work rates, which means he's very effective in that position. Right centre mid, the more box-to-box -box player, we use Park Ji Sung. And then the more defensive CDM, we use uh, Patrick Vieira. And again, the defence just sets up the same where we've got one attacking fullback, one more defensive player, and then the two centre backs and keeper are the same, of course. Player instructions on the more technical player, which is Di Maria, the one that's more creative out of the two. I have stay central and mixed attack because I don't just want him running in behind all the time. On the more clinical striker, the more of a finisher player, we have stay central and get in behind, so he makes those runs in behind. And Di Maria could even play him in. You know, it's just a nice dynamic in the attack. On the can we have come back on defence, so Chiesa will come back to defend as a right mid, so we defend in a 4-4-2, which is really nice. Uh, Park Ji Sung, the box to box player, we have stay back while attacking. This is just so we can actually send him forward when we want to uh, and we still have a bit of defensive cover. You know, he's still a box-to-box -box player, but I just have him on stay back while he default. And then we have cover centre, so he defends as one of the middle centre mids. Patrick Vieira, we have cover centre and stay back while attacking. This is so he stays back and he will defend as one of the centre mids as well. Foden, we just completely leave on default settings, uh, especially cover wing, so he will defend as a left mid. So we have Foden left mid, Patrick Vieira left centre mid, Park Ji Sung right centre mid and Chiesa right mid it's just so we have a better defensive shape when we lose the ball and then on both fullbacks even though I said I have one defensive and one attacking in this formation I use balance attack and overlap on both of them this is so we get extra width out of the formation and we essentially have four in attack uh, when we do go forward obviously this is a very aggressive formation and there is a bigger chance that you will concede goals but like I said I use this when I need to actually score a goal now the 4-3-3 second variations, just a bit of a wild card formation. I kind of just use this when the narrow formations aren't working because obviously the 4-3-3 is a little bit wider. So I can't tell you exactly when I use this, but it's when it's, everything else isn't really working and I need something different. I kind of use the other three primarily and then I just use this when, again, nothing else is working. So defensive style, we just use balance, same as every other formation. Width we have on 42 because it is a bit of a wider formation. So I just upped it a little bit. Depth we have on 55 as that is nice and balanced build up play we use balance because obviously all the other ones are fast build up so again i just want to try something different when it's not working chance creation we still use direct passing because it is the best one to use the width we actually have on 51 because it is a wider formation and we want to utilize the wings more and then players in box and corners we still have on five and two for the same reason as the other formations the way we set this up is we have robbie Keane as the striker as he's very well rounded and it's a one striker formation so we need a player that can do a bit of everything in that position so he's very clinical very good there and then the two wingers we just use Di Maria and Chiesa as they're good wide players it's what they excel at so it makes sense that we want to use them in those positions uh, for the right centre mid we use a more box to box player Park Ji Sung the CDM we use a defensive player in Patrick Vieira and then the left centre mid we use an attacking player but has a high defensive work rate which is Phil Foden this is so he can attack and defend very effectively the high high work rate is very good good in this position and then again we have a bit of a balance in the two fullbacks where we've got one attacking one defensive player and the centre backs and the goalkeepers are just as good as they can be at the moment. For player instructions on the striker, we just have stay central. This is so we don't restrict him too much. The only important thing is that he doesn't go to the wing. We don't really want to put him on any specific attacking instructions because it kind of limits the formation a bit. On the two wide players, we just completely leave them alone. So we basically get the most out of them as they're not restricted to certain instructions. I've been really enjoying using that. Uh, Park Ji Sung, I have stay back while attacking cover center. This is the more attacking like box to box center mid. So we just have him stay back cover center because again we want to trigger him to go forward when we want to but he still covers by default Patrick Vieira the more defensive player we have stay back cover center again this is the defensive CDM we need him to stay back we don't really need him to go forward the left center mid which is an actual attacker in Phil Foden we just have cover center because again we want him to attack we want him to do a bit of everything and it's just important that we cover the central area so he does defend that position when he comes back a high high work rate is very beneficial in this position as 
as well. And then on the two fullbacks, we actually just have stay back while attacking. And we don't even have overlap because when we trigger them forward, we don't really need extra width because we've already got wingers. So I just have them on stay back while attacking for the extra defensive support. And yeah, that's basically it. They are my custom tactics and player instructions for the new update in FIFA 23. It's what I've been using. If you guys have enjoyed or found this useful, I'd very much appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you are notified when a video is posted. And with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll catch you all later. Peace.